This video discusses Python algorithm of critical path analysis and how to run the Python file. Read schedule data on worksheet and write the outcome of Python file run back to the worksheet. The Python file is called by Excel using Excel Wings library. The algorithm we are discussing is not simplistic but complete enough to adopt to project execution, without modification and with quality comparable to P6 or MS project. This video consists of four sections. Input data written on Excel file. Set up Visual Studio environment. Critical path analysis algorithm written in Python files cpa.py and cpa function.py. Excel VBA to run Python file. Two worksheets are required for critical path analysis. One named CPA. Another named calendar. Worksheet CPA is organized to define schedule input and to return the output of the program run. 11 columns A to K are used. Headings are in row 3. Activity. Description. Predecessor. Period. Start. Finish. Late start. Late finish. Float. Relationship. Time lag. The following data are to be defined as essential schedule data. Activity. To be unique. Predecessors, to refer to defined activity only, in case of multiple predecessors, they are separated by comma. Activity period. Start date for the activity without related predecessor involved. Relationship for each predecessor either FS, finish to start, or SS, start to start, or SF, start to finish, or FF finish to finish. Time lag with respect to each predecessor. Python file is programmed to return for each activity. Early start date. Early finish date. Late start date. Late finish date. Float. Worksheet named calendar defines project weekends and non-working days. The format is similar to P6 calendar data. First thing we need to start Python programming is set up Visual Studio Code environment. Open Visual Studio Code. Designate a folder where you will create Python files. Under the folder, create new Python file named cpa.py. Critical path analysis goes with 9 steps. Import libraries and custom functions. Read Excel data. Validate input data. Create predecessor, successor list. Sequence check of activities. Forward pass. Backward pass. Float calculation. Populate worksheet with program result. Python is characterized by the ability to extend its functionality by importing numerous packages and modules available. To import a module in its entirety you need to use the import command. Import libraries needed for Python file in discussion, SYS, OS, Pandas, NumPy, XL Wings, and DateTime. In addition, we need to call functions from another file, cpa function.py. Excel data in two worksheets are read and processed. Worksheet CPA. Worksheet Calendar. Read schedule data on the Excel worksheet named CPA. Set a variable, WB, for the opened workbook and a variable using Excel Wings module. Need to ensure that a worksheet named CPA is ready. Try. Accept statement is used to check whether the worksheet exists. Read schedule data on the worksheet CPA using pandas read excel method to store in my data. Need to ensure that a worksheet named calendar is ready. Try. Accept statement is used to check whether the worksheet exists. Read project calendar using pandas read excel method. Define two series referring to project calendar data. One for holidays and another for weekend.
In order to ensure that Pandas data frame stores Excel data with the required data type, use Pandas data frames apply method for predecessor, relationship, and time lag. To get around errors due to incorrect input data, it is necessary to validate the input data. The code is written in a function validate data in another file cpa function.py. Call validate data function. Five validations are involved. Ensure that headers are typed correctly. Activities should be unique. Period of integer data type should not be left blank. Predecessor should refer to the defined activities only. Activities relationship and time lag should be of the same number as the activities predecessors, each separated by comma. Create and go to cpa function.py to write a validate data function. Headers on the worksheet CPA are referred to in the file and it is necessary that those should be correctly entered on the worksheet. To ensure correct reference, the required headers are compared with what you may enter on the worksheet. If not consistent, the file will stop running using SYS exit method. Headers required to be entered on the worksheet are stored in a single variable, calls, using square bracket. Headers on your worksheet, mydata.columns, are converted to list type using list constructor. These two list items are compared. Activity ID should be unique. Pandas data frame duplicated method is used to find which activity is defined more than once. If duplicated activity is found, it is highlighted, and the file running is stopped for your update in activity ID to be made unique. Activities period data should not be left blank. Blank cell for period is found using is null method. If there are activities whose periods are not specified, then the file running is stopped. You need to enter periods before rerunning the file. Predecessor is to refer to defined activity only. Predecessors are entered in a cell separated by comma. It is necessary to draw out each individual predecessor using string split method. Then each predecessor is checked against each activity to know whether the predecessor is one of activities. Activities relationship and time lag should be of the same number as the activities predecessors, each separated by comma. For instance, if the number of predecessors is 2, separated by comma, then the relationship should 2, separated by comma and time lag should be 2, separated by comma. This is required for default relationship, FS, and zero days time log. Leaving blank is not acceptable. Predecessor to successor list is created to allow critical path analysis to consider relationship other than FS and time lag other than zero days. The function ps list is written in another file cpa function.py. The list is made by parsing the activity's predecessors in a way to represent one to one activity data. The list includes the followings predecessor, each related successor, predecessor period, successor period, time lag equivalent to finish to start relationship in case of relationship other than finish to start relationship. To help critical path analysis implemented straightforward, it is necessary to arrange activities in sequence, row after row on the worksheet and without circular dependency. Firstly, activities are arranged so that predecessor activities are defined before their successor activities. Deviation is checked by calling ps in order function in cpa function.py. Secondly, a predecessor should not be taken as a successor of the succeeding activity to avoid circular dependency. This is checked by calling a function successor in cpa function.py. The function successor is running recursively to find any circular dependency in predecessor, successor relation. The function successor calls another function unique list to sort out unique activities from successors of each activity. Early schedule, early start, and early finish, 
is calculated along forward pass. The early start, ES, is determined in the forwards direction starting from the first activity. The first activity is characterized with no predecessor involved. The start date of the first activity is given on the worksheet. To allow activity with predecessors to start, all predecessors must be finished. The early start date of the activity, ES, is the latest finish date of its predecessors. This calculation is applied to finish to start logic directly. Other logics are converted to finish to start logic in the function PS list discussed earlier. Early finish, EF, is computed by adding to early start date, activity period, holidays, and weekends. To consider the project holidays and weekends in between start date and finish date, a custom function, workday, is developed and located in CPA function.py. As the first step, start date, and end date should be weekdays only, not weekend date. Then, account for holidays in calculating end date. Late schedule, late start, and late finish, is calculated along backward pass. The late finish, LF, is determined in the backwards direction starting from the last activity. The late finish date of the last activity, featured without successor is same as early finish date as calculated along forward pass. An activity must finish before earliest start date of its successors. This means that late finish date of an activity is equal to the earliest late start date of its successors. This calculation is applied to finish to start logic directly. Other logics are converted to finish to start logic in the function PS list discussed earlier. The late start is computed by deducting from the late finish date, activity period, holidays, and weekends. To consider the project holidays and weekends in between start date and finish date, a custom function, workday, is developed and located in CPA function.py as discussed earlier in early schedule. The float is computed by comparing the early schedule and the late schedule of the same activity, either start date or finish date. If the late schedule date is same as the early schedule date, with zero float, it is not possible to delay the activity without impact on project completion. Consequently, the activities with zero float are considered and defined as critical activities. Critical path analysis is complete and ready to return the program result to worksheet. It is necessary to replace early start, early finish, late start, and late finish and float of the variable, my data, with program run results. Column named sequence which was added for the function PS in order is deleted. Write Excel worksheet CPA with program output. The last step is to enable Excel to call Python file, cpa.py. Three things are to be established in Excel file. Install Excel Wings add-in. Create a standard module and write a code with run Python method. Create a control button on the ribbon for user interface to run Python file. To install XL Wings add-in. First, choose File Options, and click the Add-ins tab. Second, choose Excel add-ins from the Manage drop-down list and then click Go. Excel displays the add-ins dialog box. Third, click the Browse button and locate and double-click the add-in XL Wings. Lastly, click OK to close the dialog box to view a new tab on the ribbon, XL Wings. The tab and associated functions are not used for the program we are discussing about. Create a reference to XL Wings by choosing the Tools References command in the Visual Basic Editor. In the References dialog box, find XL Wings and then place a check next to it. Insert a module and name it md underscore cpa, for example. Write VBA code inside the module with run python method. Run python method has two arguments separated by semicolon.
first one for Python file name. Second one for the name of function included in the Python file or file name to be executed. To execute the VBA code on the ribbon, one way is add a control button to the ribbon using Excel's customized ribbon interface. On Excel, right click anywhere on the ribbon. Choose Customize the ribbon to display the Customize ribbon tab in the Excel Options dialog box. To add the macro, we must create a custom group under a new custom tab unless add the new button under the built-in tab. We are discussing the former way for this time. On the right pane, O oh, add a new tab and rename it as, for instance, Project Management. O oh, add a new group and rename it as, for instance, Scheduling. On the left pane, O at the top of the list drop down box, choose macros to show all the macros that are available, including CPA underscore Python procedure. O select the CPA underscore Python and press add button in the middle to add it to the new group. On the right pane, O select an icon and rename it as required. Press OK to view the new macro button, CPA, under the new group scheduling of the new tab project management on the ribbon to run python file from excel press a macro button labeled cpa excel file and python files are placed in the same folder outcome of python file run is populated on the worksheet cpa thank you for watching if you need source files excel and python Feel free to send an email.